A survey by NDaylightSavingTime.org found nearly three out of four Americans wants to ban the practice altogether. In fact, we already spend the majority of the year on daylight saving time. Now, if it were to be ended, one question is whether we would stay an hour ahead or permanently be on standard time. Here's some research favoring daylight saving time. The time change sparks as much confusion as its name. Is it daylight savings time or daylight saving time? Just to clear it up, there is no S. It's daylight saving time. But whatever you call it, daylight saving time still faces its fair share of criticism. The biggest complaint? On switch day, it costs us an hour of precious sleep. But the truth is, the longer term extra hour of sunlight boosts your body's production of melatonin. That's the hormone that helps you sleep. And a study published in Epidemiology reveals the time change may benefit your brain. Incidents of depression increase by 11% when the clock shifts back in November, suggesting that springing forward may help reduce depressive episodes. Now that's not all. Your eyes may also benefit. More daylight means you can switch off your fluorescent lights for an extra hour. The American Journal of Public Health says these lights can cause our eyes to strain more and cause cataracts. Driving during the daylight might also save lives, according to the Accident Analysis and Prevention Report. If we adopted daylight saving time, we would save 366 lives a year. And experts also say increased daylight just makes driving easier and safer. Now, one more thing. Additional daylight hours also makes people want to walk more. A study in the Journal of Environmental Psychology found the extra daylight that we get accounts for a 62% increase in pedestrians and a 38% increase in cyclists. If you've been wanting to be more active, this time change is a good opportunity to increase your outdoor exercise and use that extra daylight to your advantage.